Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard and we are in the kitchen and today I am going to make homemade chicken pot pies. Alright, so I am just going to boil up, I think I got three, yep, yeah, three pieces of chicken in there and I'm going to get that boiled and uh, <clears throat> We are going to use a bag of vegetables, mixed vegetables, and I got a bag of kryptonite. And we're going to add some kryptonite to it as well with the chicken. I also have these two packs of chicken gravy. We're going to make the gravy, and I am going to uh, make from scratch using... Flour, butter, cold water, salt, a little bit of little bit of sugar. It says I'm gonna make some crust, and we are gonna make homemade mini pot pies. Let's see if I can find. Hold on one second. Okay, so this all spawned from where? Where, where did we get this at? Hey, what? This this crimper thing. Oh, good question. I don't remember, baby. It was two dollars, right? It was two or three dollars. It's this little crimper thing here that makes little pies. And I, I just had to have it. I had one of these before, um, but I don't know where they're at now. And it was only like two, three bucks, and I had to have one. So we're going to make little chicken pot pies like this. We're going to lay the pie crust on there. Uh, we're going to put in our ingredients. We're going to boom, and we're going to make these little pie crusts. So stick with us, and you're going to have a blast today. Okay, so while the chicken is cooking, we are going to make a very simple and easy crust. It just consists of flour, some sugar, some butter, some salt, and some water. Just going to mix it all together and make a dough. So anybody that knows me and has ever watched any of my videos knows that actual precise measuring just is not my thing. Uh, but uh, it always seems to work out for me. I will say this though, the longer you do it, less measurements you really have to make because it just becomes instinctual. little bit of flour in the bottom of this bowl just so that it doesn't stick. I'm going to take the dough and ball it up a little bit here 
and I have a tendency to overwork my dough so I purposely have not this time so we're gonna take this dough and I'm just gonna stick it here I'm gonna cover it up and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator until we're ready to use it all right next all we're gonna do is take two cups of water straight from the tap into this container we're gonna sit it on the stove and we are going to cook up these two chicken gravies just place this whisk it into the water cook it until it boils once it boils we let it simmer and it'll thicken up a little bit we'll just let it sit there and uh, by the time this is get done we should be ready to construct our pot pies Alright, so here we are. So there's 13 of them and then there's a little piece of dough left here. Um, might be able to squeeze one more out of this. I'm not 100% sure, but regardless, uh, I used about two cups of flour. So that's, uh, uh, use that as a reference. So what I'm going to do is once that I've got these done, here is the mold. I'm just going to roll these out. I'll place them on top of the mold. I'll fill them and then we will crimp them up. We'll sit them out and we are getting really close. So let's get everything else set up. Let's get this chicken cut up. Let's get the bags opened up. Let's get the gravy going. And we are making homemade 100%. 100%. That's not true. Well, I didn't grow the vegetables. Didn't grow the chickens either. Well, but it's all real stuff. I didn't buy the pot pie from a store. All right, so we're going to get started. Here is our chicken gravy. I have two 
chicken breasts that I will be piecing. I have a bag of frozen mixed vegetables and a bag of frozen kryptonite and we will be adding a little bit to each one of those so what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and let's get a little bit more flour out here spread that about might as well use it all right a little bit of flour out here we're going to take our rounds and I'm just going to roll them let's get it. there we go let's get these rolled out so that they will be bigger than what's necessary I will get my mold I will lay my dough on the mold here and what we are going to do is let's see here we'll tear up a couple pieces of chicken just like so let's get a couple pieces of broccoli or what I am now calling kryptonite. Let's make sure we get green beans, peas, corn, and carrots. A little bit of that in there. Just like so. Let's grab a spoon. Bingo, bingo. And what we're going to do is we'll add one, two, three uh, let's go with about four spoons of gravy to that mix and if I can squeeze let me try to squeeze in another piece of chicken one more piece of chicken in there there we go so we have that we are just gonna see if we can get this folded without making a huge mess oh a little much but okay oh yeah squeeze it squeeze it we'll squeeze that tight good we'll peel off this dough that's on the outside here we'll set that right there Ooh, fat chunky one open that up and be very careful there we go don't want to tear it oh my goodness oh my look how pretty that is look at that Cool, and here is our very first chicken pot pie. And I will set this over here. Let me spread a little bit of flour on that before we continue. Very good to go. So we're gonna, let me get this on myself here real quick. There we go. So we are gonna continue to do that. Uh, once I get them done, I will get out baggies and I will place one or two in a baggie and then we can put them in the freezer and we can eat those later tonight we have something else going on uh we're not going to be able to eat those tonight but i will continue to film this uh add a little extra i'm not going to talk i'm just going to do it might even speed that up a little bit and we are going to make a, a baker's dozen of these pot pies and if i don't get around to it thank you guys for watching bentley's backwards bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard
and here we are here are the finished 13 chicken pot pies all I'm going to do is let's say uh, okay, two per bag so I am going to place Oh, good idea. Patty separators. We have patty squares. I'm going to go ahead and use some patty squares. So we will take one of these, wrap it up into a patty square, like so. Place it into the baggie. We will take a second one, wrap it in a patty square, place it in the same baggie, I'll ziplock that up, try to get most of the air out of there without, there we go. And then I have a baggie that has too many pot pies. And then they will go straight into the freezer. And hopefully soon we will be getting these out and doing a taste test. So I want to say thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors. Even if it's just your own backyard.